Oh, you see the smiley face. You know what time it is. Come on. You know, just a moment ago, I finished recording the segment that talked about how we blew air superiority in Afghanistan, and now we have the very weapons which we gave the Taliban being shot at our airliners as we try to get our people away from the Taliban. It gets dumber. Because, you see, when I make the dumb deal of the day, I have to really grab, I have to really look at the gravity of it, and I have to think, how dumb? The, the, the botch in Afghanistan could result in the death of hundreds, maybe a thousand people. The dumbity of the day winner could result in the deaths of hundreds of thousands, millions, depends on how it's done, courtesy of the dumbity of the day, once again, Joe Biden. <sighs> Reuters. Renewed activity at North Korea nuclear reactor deeply troubling, IAEA says. They're nuclear experts, for those of you that don't know. Um, let me, as your, for those of, that may not be familiar with the show, I, I, as your humble host, do the massive Fukushima update. I am a whatnot of sorts with all things nuclear. I'm not a physicist. I'm not as smart as physicists. I probably know more about nuclear things than anybody except a physicist. But, again, so many people within the physics community lie and cover for the bottom dollar in so many different ways that it's good to have another voice there when you're dealing with these sorts of issues. And I mention that because of many of the people who I would warn you maybe not to trust and people who I would warn you to, and I would, I would advise you to trust, like Arnie Gunderson, uh, Dr. Gunderson, Dr. Helen Collicott, uh, with things nuclear, I wouldn't listen to her on most other things. Uh, medical and nuclear, yes. Uh, very intelligent. They're all agreeing. This is bad. And let me tell you why it's bad. Prior to Donald Trump putting the kibosh on the North Korean nuclear program, they had managed... Now hear me out with this, because it sounds, it, it sounds so fanciful that you're going to want to look it up, and I promise you, you're going to find out that I was right. They have a mountain in North Korea where they, to keep it away from satellite imagery and a lot of other things to make it harder to spot what they were doing, to keep it harder to monitor how far the progress is in the transport of various materials. North Korea has, they, they were, I should say, they probably are again, moving materials and testing bombs in this mountain. They've tested a couple of nuclear weapons in this mountain. The mountain is starting to cave in on itself and is considered one of the most dangerous nuclear sites in the world. It's just that luckily for the time being, it's contained because they did it in a mountain. But, you know, you can only go to the mountain so many times and, you know, it's going to crumble in on itself. It's a radioactive poison that's sitting there, so much so that even China, who we all know is wink and nod with North Korea on all things nuclear, particularly because it's against the West, even they were alarmed by this. And I mention this because that's one of the nuances that you're not going to get from a lot of the other pundits. They're going to tell you about nuclear war and this and that and the other, but they're not going to let you know about the fact that not only is this a threat from a nuclear war standpoint, but this is a threat from an environmental standpoint. If there is a significant problem with this mountain, or if there is another a disaster with uh, the processing, making, distribution, application, whatever, of these nuclear elements, we're looking at a catastrophe which there's not enough adjectives in the English language for. And if you factor in that so many of the things which we get are made in China and then sent here, it doesn't take a genius to figure out what you're dealing with here. If that was to get contaminated, it would. China would send it all over the world. They probably wouldn't tell anybody. 
we already know that the monitoring monitoring systems after Fukushima, we found out they don't test everything. They can't test everything. There's too much stuff coming in and out of the country from the docks and everywhere else. They test randomly. Well, let me know if that makes you feel any better when you hear this. Vienna, Seoul. North Korea appears to have restarted a nuclear reactor, which Trump had got them to quit doing. We know that from the uh, nuclear signature. We know for sure that they had stopped because of the nuclear signature. There's no question here. They've restarted a nuclear reactor that is widely believed to have produced plutonium for nuclear weapons, the UN Atomic Watchdog said in an annual report. The signs of operation at the 5 megawatt reactor, which is seen as capable of producing weapons-grade plutonium, were the first to be spotted since late 2018. Thank you, Mr. Trump. The International Atomic Energy Agency said on a Friday, since early t July 2021, there have been indications, including the discharge of cooling water, consistent with the operation. According to the report, and let me let me let, let me let you in on something. Cooling water, you think, oh well, you know, then if your rods are hot, you run the water over it, cools them down, prevents a meltdown, perfect. No, if you don't handle the water right, and if you don't handle the water right for decades, you can have unspeakable problems. And we know about the glass lake, as they call it in the Ukraine. All of the, a lot of it has to do with this, this cooling water. It, it's, it's like toxic Avenger bad. More plutonium could help North Korea make smaller nuclear weapons to fit on its ballistic missiles, said David Albright, president of the Institute for Science and International Security. The bottom line is that North Korea wants to improve the number and quality of its nuclear weapons. While intelligence on North Korea weapons is limited, making it impossible to know their number, Albright estimated that the company had the capacity to produce four to six bombs a year. And we already know they're willing to starve their country in order to do this. Last year, 38 North said flood... Oh, that's, that's a completely different story. So let me ask you a question here. How much do you think that uh, Joe Biden's being respected by... Uh, Kim Jong Un. The new indications for the operation reactor in the radiochemical laboratory are deeply troubling, it said in a report, which is an issue without notice. They flagged indications of possible reprocessing of the young brain to separate plutonium from spent reactor fuel that could be used to make nuclear weapons. Let me tell you what, guys. Let me tell you what we've done. We've spent a lot of time trying to figure out if a man can be a woman. We've spent a lot of time talking about white privilege. <laughs> He's privileged. He's privileged. We've talked about global warming and all these things which do not exist. We've been told to fight amongst ourselves about whether or not we should take a vaccine or whether or not we should wear a mask. All of these imaginary shadows and ghosts that don't really exist that we're arguing about. Do you know what does exist? You know what's been existing? The Taliban. Okay, we were told in 911 that they were at war with us, but we weren't at war with them. Haven't we just done it again? Black Lives Matter, equality, which bathroom can I use? Meanwhile... Taliban has been working on an assault to take over the country and to kill U.S. citizens. Meanwhile, North Korea has been taking advantage of all the chaos to start their reactor operations again. And all of the hatred which all of these countries have towards us, which in many instances isn't even warranted, is going to come home to roost due to terrible leadership.